how to mix the perfect purple with acrylic paint. Let's start maybe with the primaries, the three primaries, yellow, red and blue. Now we talk about bias primaries, two reds, two yellows, two blues, and they're biased towards their closest other primary. So what I mean by that is ultra blue is a very red blue. So that's the blue, we want to make a purple. And on the color wheel, a purple is between red and blue. We're going to take ultra blue, a very red blue. And I could use magenta, which is a, a very blue red, let's say, or crimson. And I'll actually use crimson because it's more likely a color that you're probably going to have. And I'll put that in the red part of the primary. So when I mix these two colors together, take a little bit of ultra blue there, crimson, purple, ultra blue. And we want to find something between these two to give us this nice purple that we're after. So here I've now got maybe a little bit too much crimson. So I'll bring some more ultra blue in. And I don't want to go too far because on the color wheel, purple should be in the middle here. We'd have violet here and a deep sort of magenta there. So that's quite a nice purple we've got here. And I might just use the palette knife to push that out in the middle there. Okay, so we've got a purple there. If we added a little bit more ultra blue, we'd end up with a violet, which would sit there and then some more crimson and we'd end up with a deep deep red in there. Now what I'll do is I'll use the other bias colors, I'll explain that in a second, to mix a purple and you'll see that the purple will be a very muddy purple which is fine if you're after shadows or a, or a, um, a less intense purple. And what I mean by other biased. Thallo blue, thalassinium blue, is a very green or yellow. So yellow is our third primary that sits here. The thallo blue is a very green blue. So if I were to mix that with a scarlet or a very yellow or orangey red, so a bright sort of fire engine type red, whilst in theory red and blue make purple, what we'll actually end up with is quite a, quite a dirty purple and, and almost to, to a brown. So I'll just paint these out. So there's, there's our purple there and you can see the undertone is, is really almost, um, is almost a brown sort of color. Um, clearly, w w which is fine for a shadow, but, but not, perfect for a nice bright purple. You can see there it's a, a deeper greener blue. Now when we add white, so first I'll add it to my what's left of my blue here, front there, versus there, versus I've added quite a lot of white here but adding it it's 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 more a grey than than the purple we've managed to come up with here. So, in summary, using ultra blue or a very red blue or a violet and a deep crimson or bluish red will give you the brightest purple. And don't forget to subscribe.